Dawson looking for the quick response. Williams, the hard drive, plus the foul. Towson on the road beats Delaware. We're going to be confident. We're going to prepare to go to Drexel and Sunday. We will be in first place. I strived everything, but we got to be smart. We got to get together. We got to be strong. Yeah, it was kind of surreal. It was nice, you know, growing up, you know, I've always wanted Brenda Freeze and all her players out of Maryland. So it was, it was a cool experience, especially because we kind of hung tight with them. So. Into the corner, Evans. Evans back to Nelson. Nelson fires the three straight away. Got it. I did our team. I'm just so proud of the performance, the grit, the effort, back-to-back -back really big wins for our program. I think the biggest thing is that we're continuing to improve, and there's even still areas and avenues that, of growth for us. Time for the daily Kylie Cornegay Lucas segment. Another double double for her, 12 and 12. She knows teams are preparing for her. Teams are having a to game plan for her, and she's still able to have a double double almost any any given night. told you it takes one thing to beat Delaware, it would be rebounded. You would think that we'd be flying all over the court. I'm saying right now, challenge yourself to a double-double, Quinn. Challenge yourself, Pina. Challenge yourself, Kylie. If we have multiple double-doubles, we win. It's that simple. I swear, every single time out that I'm about to lose my mind, you can ask the coach, I'm like, how many, how many down are we on the boards at this point? Usually it's like 10 or 12. This is our gym. We are shooters. We are in the best shape. We are in a good spot for us, okay? So y'all lock in, get your mind set and ready. Last thing I will say, this is Military Appreciation Day. Tom has given over $50,000 to our program. He does everything. He's making another contribution. He loves us. He loves this program. He wants to start a whole initiative for us to give to y'all. Okay, so make sure you guys go up and say thank you for your service. He gave 37 years in the service. This literally, this whole game, I put together for him and the contributions that he has for our program. Also, with that being said, I don't know if anyone has briefed Gabby. We picked the freshman to receive a scholarship under a, a fallen soldier's name. So it's Gabby, you're going to be recognized before the game is started. So I forgot to tell you. Y'all look good. Do y'all feel good? Cause these jerseys look really, really good on y'all. So let's get our shots up and um, see how I'm holding. Here we go, y'all. Here we go, ladies. Oh, yeah. Stop walking on my pants. Oh, come on, Jamie. Uh, uh, Telson Athletics opened the Robert McConty Scholarship Endowment for the Women's Basketball Program in honor of 1989 graduate Bob McConty, who was killed in Afghanistan in 2012 while on duty with the Maryland National Guard. This year's recipient is freshman forward Gabby Scott. Joining Gabby and Coach Laura Hopper, the sons of Bob McConty, Aaron and Jonah, and retired Maryland National Guard Command Sergeant Major Tom Baird the lead donor of the scholarship. The Towson Women's Basketball team would like to present a jersey to Baird, a 1977 Towson graduate, for his loyal support. <laughs> Congratulations, Gabby, and thank you to Tom Baird for your continued generosity. are open so she knows where to look. And now a steal for the Tigers. It's Cornet Lucas all by herself, lays it up and in. 13-9. Back up to Cornegay Lucas, straight away three, bang! Pulled up at Stony Brook as well. Cornegay Lucas dumps underneath, Fulmore lays it up and in, great find. And gives it off to Williams, six on the shot clock. Williams out to Scott, loads up, three.
Kanye Lucas pulls up for three. Got it! Good. Nelson gives to Rivera. Rivera out to Johnson. Johnson drives baseline. Floater up. Floater good. Anuma pokes loose the pass by herself. Feeds it up and in. Anuba to Evans in the corner. Evans inside the foul line. Stop, spin, fadeaway jumper. Good. First shot, good, to make it a two-point lead. Perfect. Five seconds, Mace Prince driving, shoots over four more, off the mark, out of bounds. That's the ball game, Tigers survive. They sweep the Blue Hens, 67-65. Um, I thought it was a battle to the end, very intense uh, physical game. I ain't gonna lie, this whole week we've been shooting free throws. Like in the beginning to the end, we we got we finished practice making like 50 free throws. So yeah, it was an emphasis. Um, we have a lot of trust in our bench. Um, we expect them to just have the um, same energy um, as us when they come in. We need Kylie on the floor. Um, she's our engine. She needs to be smart and understand how valuable it is when she's out there. Five minutes to go, Kylie's got to find a way to stay on the floor. Any win versus Delaware is a positive. Any win in conference is a positive. It was going to be an ugly game. We knew that from the start, and, you know, I felt like the bench was ready. And, you know, we talk about our depth as a team. And at this point, you know, I told them a focus February really helps you march in March. And I think that they were able to lock through, even though emotionally at some points we wanted to shut down. Towson complete the sweep of Delaware for the first time in years. The win moves them up to third in the standings with a 7-3 record, still behind Drexel and North Carolina. Quinn hits another double-double, and for the ninth time this season, Kylie is Towson's top scorer with 17. This season, she has also been Towson's high rebounder seven times and high assister 15 times over their 21 games. 
She has started every game and is integral to the team's success. Every player plays their role, but Kylie is able to play every player's role. Shooting, long range, mid court, in the post, and from the line. Passes, blocks, steals, rebounds, she can do it all. Last season, she was the only player in the CAA to register a triple double, where in 29 minutes against Delaware at CQ Arena, she scored 11 points while picking up 10 rebounds and 12 assists. Deep three and the bank's open and she gets it to fall, 17 13. Courtney Gay Lucas. Driving, dumps it off to Kubek for the lay-in. Cornegay Lucas comes away and now Towson back on the break. Deep pass up the court to Kubek. Kubek turns and scores. Looking to drive behind her back, loses control of it out to Nelson. Nelson for three. Bang! Oh, maybe somebody will ask me this question about a triple double. Okay. <laughs> Kylie had a triple double. I, I don't think we've done this before at Towson. And uh, that it was remarkable. I said this was going to be a year of records. And, uh, you know, every week we're setting a new record in something. I feel like Delaware games are always, like, intense for us. I, I think we, like, consider, like, kind of a rival game. So I feel like everything we did on the court was, like, mad, like, aggressive. Like, everybody was, like, on 10. My name is Kylie Cornegay lucas I'm a third year. Um, I'm going to Towson for psychology, my major. How would you say others would describe you? Wild, all over the place, funny, um, basketball-wise, talented, um, hardworking, uh, aggressive. I mean, Kylie Cornegay Lucas, how do you even talk about? She, by far, is the best player I've ever coached, uh, the most skilled player I've ever coached, she was talented, most athletic. She has no idea how good she is, and her potential is still through the roof, even after everything that she's done for our program. So, you know, we talk about discipline being her, her biggest area of growth there. I just wanted to be that tough love that could help her improve. I believe her, believe in her in ways that I don't even know she believes in herself. And I know that I can't be a friend to her. That's not what she needs. You know, she needs someone to, to really, truly push her in. And I've tried my best along with our staff to do just that. Yeah, it's definitely something I need to work on for me. Like, when I get in foul trouble, I get frustrated. That's when my emotions come in. Like, I just get more frustrated with myself more than anything, because I'm like, if I get in foul trouble, I'm not playing on the court. So it's just like, it's not something I really need. And it's something I need to like manage and like control in my game. Next up, Towson are back on the road to visit Hofstra in Long Island, New York. Hofstra sit bottom of the conference, above only UNCW, who Towson have up next. Towson need two wins from two here if they want to stay within touching distance of the rest of the pack. Today, though, it's not that simple. Three quarters in, the scores are level, 40 apiece. Towson begin to spark a lead against the pride, but as the game draws to a close, the intensity picks up.
With 6.8 seconds on the clock, Towson had the chance to go three points up from the line. Lex misses the first, but makes the second. Towson up two. Again, defeat at the buzzer. Towson returned to CQ and defeat UNCW, who have just one win in the CAA all season. Kylie again is the top scorer with 13, with Mariah Wilson and Taye contributing well from the bench. Coach, mixed bag this past week. Let's start with the Hofstra loss, 58-57 uh, um, at the buzzer. Randy Thomas knocking down a three-pointer. From the start of the game, just walk us through what you thought of, of the Hofstra matchup. Well, first, I just want to credit Hofstra for how they came from the tip. It was just one of those growth learning opportunities on the road, to me, that you have to always be ready to play. You get to move on. You go to UNC. You come back home. UNCW comes here. 60-44. Uh, it wasn't a great shooting night for either team. Uh, we talked about it post game. I was proud of our team for bouncing back from you know the devastating heartbreak loss at Hofstra to come and secure a W for us. Now we're off to this week, and you're headed down to Virginia, opposite direction of New York, getting as far away from New York as we can. Absolutely. Uh, so two games in Virginia, William & Mary on Friday, Hampton on Sunday, starting with the Tribe. Tribe has gotten hot recently, four games straight. Um, they've been winning. Riley averaging 23.75 points like, over these last four games. And What have you seen a change in William & Mary from the last time you played them to these last four games? They do a great job of doing their job, making shots. You know, Sammy Wagner and Riley Casey are what they're going to be. At this point in our conference, with how close the standings are, I think that we will make sure that our team is up for this game. How much can you take from the right? Because ultimately, the tournament's what matters at the end of the day. Sure, sir, you'd like to have the best seed you can. How much can you take away, or how important are the lessons like these gritty wins and these close losses? How much do you take from those games to get you ready for tournament? How valuable are these games? These games mean everything, you know, and I think that specifically from an individual development, you know, talking to Kylie you can't foul out <laughs> you know and just we can't be emotional we have lost two games in conference on technical fouls that is just a lack of discipline and a lack of focus 
I do think these are really good lessons. I think our team is peaking at the right time, even when for us to win versus UNCW based on how bad we shot, I think was a big step in the right direction. So. Coach Harper's side traveled to Williamsburg first, to the biggest venue in the conference, the Kaplan Arena. Wait, what part of Virginia are we in Williamsburg? We're in Williamsburg. Okay. Hey, um, we just got to the gym in Williamsburg, Virginia. We play William and Mary to S7. Um, we're walking in the shoot around right now. Um, here we are. This is the nice gym. Ooh. A lot of green, a lot of yellow. So we're about to go get ready for tonight. Let's go. into the arena so that we start the game with that same energy that we finish. I promise you, they cannot guard us downhill. We will kill them in transition. They cannot match up with us. Okay, what they can do, shoot the shit out of the ball. They can shoot the shit out of the ball. That's what they do extremely well. So lock in, be ready. This is getting us ready for the tournament. Something else has to change. Something else has to go off. Four-way tie, fuck that. We don't want that anymore, okay? So lock in, way to have a good shooter. Here we go. Together on three, one, two, three. Together. We host that we're not a getter in school. The warm up. Yeah, I think they've missed all the ones I've felt so far. I tried throwing the ball at Lex earlier, and I just threw it straight into the stands. And then she just looked at me like I was a dead person. William and Mary's all-conference duo Riley Casey and Signe Wagner both start today and are in contention with Kylie, Quinn, and Peanut to obtain spots in the team to the season once all is said and done. Towson find themselves behind in the second, but fight back through a great defensive performance. Holding the Tribe to five points in the entire quarter, Kylie taking no less than nine defensive rebounds. The scores stay tight all throughout the third quarter. Towson make a handful of threes, but William & Mary keep up through a great quarter from their double act who had been silenced in the second. Kylie, Quinn, and Pat each break into double-digit point totals and help Towson for their second victory in a row. Each and every win could be so important come the end of the season. Kylie claimed 15 defensive rebounds in this game, more rebounds than any other Towson player has achieved in a single game this season, and that includes offensive rebounds. 
Her performance today shows the value she holds within the team. Towson's victory in Williamsburg sees them swap places with William and Mary, moving up from fifth to fourth. Elsewhere in the CAA, late bloomers Northeastern traveled to Philadelphia and beat Drexel on their own court. For the first time, the Dragons have lost at home this season. This comes after Monmouth also beat Drexel in their previous game. As it stands, a win against Hampton tomorrow would propel the Tigers in the first place, joint with Drexel. Though Towson lost to Drexel on the road by eight points, in the return fixture at CQ, the Tigers won by nine, giving them the competitive edge. The girls know what they can do today if they play their game. Opportunities like this don't come every week. Hampton sit ninth in the conference, but will still feel they can get a result after beating UNCW two days ago. Despite a quick start, the Tigers failed to hold on to their lead. And by the third, the teams are passing the lead back and forth. As the game comes to a close, Hampton's forwards find their flow in the paint, taking the lead with five minutes to go. Towson missed the chance to go top and consequently have lost serious ground in the race for first place as Stony Brook, North Carolina, and Drexel all take wins. Towson now find themselves in a three-way tie for fourth alongside William and & Mary and Northeastern who have won four games on the spin. Towson's next four games are all must wins. Remaining, they have second place North Carolina a and a trip to South Carolina to face Charleston, and finish with two games at home against rivals Stony Brook and Elon. Four wins could still see Towson finish as low as sixth, but if other results go their way, a late charge for the championship could be on. The players are ready for the run-in. The loss against Hampton saw a big blow for the team, but they know how much it'll take to win the championship. The pressure will be getting to the players all across the CAA. But will the pressure make the Tigers crumble, or will it force them to raise their game? Y'all pretty locked in, seriously. The key to being successful at this point in February, though, is making little tweaks. But I will tell you one thing, coming from someone that's been in championship locker room, that's played on USA basketball, you cannot win until you let go of yourself. I have a good feeling like like it's gonna be a good day. 